Today we're covering the update 2.40 and this is a really good solid update. You know, let's dive into this. Uh, so it's time again to work together as a community for specialized prize. This time you'll be touring the globe on the power shift platform, not just once, but 10 times around the earth. Push and pull the platform for far enough and everyone will win a pink historical high five boom box to wear in the arena, fail to go the distance and the item becomes an unreachable relic. You can do it. Thanks. There's the leaderboard. Um, here's a link. So reachthefinals.com. If you want to look at the leaderboards, you can also join their Discord and to possibly win some of the final swag. Don't know what that swag looks like. And then diving into some notes. I think they did a really good job of quality of life improvements. I think that was probably the biggest update for this um, being that you can track up to five contracts now inside the game. So you're not just wondering if you've completed a contract during game. And then you can also did some back fill settings or power shift, did some glitching. There must have been some glitching with the UI when eliminated and a smarter battle pass that always jumps to the current page. Yeah, which that was kind of annoying. It was always just starting on the page once so you had to flip all the way through to the where you were at and then added solo bank it and then they adjusted some contracts that i think some people didn't like which i'll get to so let's see here diving into the audio they've had an issue with a lot of lingering audio uh, audio sounds like both for just regular ar shooting and then when you stop it continues the audio and it sounds like the, the turret also had that issue uh, but overall, I think the audio, at least from where hearing people run around you is actually pretty decent. So, I mean, if this is the only issue, I'd take this issue over any day, I guess. Some gameplay changes. Let's see here. Looks like a deployment. Fixed an issue with the mesh shield could be deployed while emoting. Nice. Fixed issue where the dematerialized could interact with the goo. Hmm. Fixed an issue where you could pick up objects during an interaction. Fixed animation, sometimes re-triggering when entering a gateway. Fixed an issue when guardian turrets would target respawning defibrillated players who are immune to damage. Okay. Added functionality allowing projectile weapon, weapons such as the different grenades and RPGs to pass through friendly teammates. Oh. That's, that's pretty nifty. That... Actually... I like that. That's a good change. That's pretty sweet. This has been a huge issue. I can't tell you how many times I've tried to chuck a grenade and smack my teammate in the back of the head with like a, a gas grenade or something. Fixed an issue with players using right shield would not trigger mines. Fixed an issue where throwing arc preview would still appear after a throw and being canceled. Fixed an issue with some objects such as barricades could travel upward. Okay, interesting. Power shift. Let's see. Improve rules for backfilling on power shift mode. Players should no longer be backfilled in matches with platforms within 20% of the final destination. That's very nice. That that was always kind of a kind of a crappy thing is when you you know there's like five minutes left of a match and then you get put in. And it's like, oh well, I might get in one gunfight before this game's over. Um, they added solo bank it to private matches. Kind of neat. And then practice range fix issue where mines would not be triggered by bots. Um, this one's eh, doesn't really matter. Must have had some overlapping assets, some shadow lighting. Uh, let's see some bleeding for fog. Interesting. I kind of be curious to see what was happening here for players getting stuck on balconies. And then glass construction site can crane so you can throw grenades through them. Oh, okay, interesting. Let's see what else. Uh, tutorial. Goofer grenade. First person animations now loop when previewed. Um, some support for zooming on items. Just some UI stuff. Nothing too big. Some animation stuff. I think this is the one that got me recently. I've noticed on the heavy, I've, I have died several times without ever seeing his animation of a melee swing. So hopefully that's actually fixed because that, that was super questionable on my end. Um... Now there's a default for frame rate limits on laptops. I wonder how they're capturing what's a laptop, I guess. Huh. And then, let's see here, there looks like a memory leak on version 2.2. .2. Then, 
then fog. And then this contract was the most east. These contracts for the most recent circuit uh, had a lot of people kind of upset, I think. The biggest one was win one tournament. That one, if you're just a solo player playing this, I can see how this is just a just a tough one. I can see why they swapped that one. These other two, eh, I could also kind of get the 11 kills possibly. Um, so dropping down to six makes it definitely a little bit more reasonable. I mean, there's plenty of games when, you know, you're only, you can go several, several games without getting even 10 kills. So I think this makes it a little bit more, more worth it. I mean, once again, this game's not about getting kills is about completing objectives. So I think this, this definitely probably made games seem a little crappier for people trying to focus on this. So, and then that was it. They didn't, I don't think they made any changes to any guns this time. So cool, just UI changes. And then let's watch the video. Cool weapon skins. Yeah. Okay. So that was it. That's that's changes, and then they had like a new in, uh, intro when launching the finals. So that is the cover for the new finals update. I think, like I said, the big changes being just kind of the quality of life improvements were the big things that they focused on this update, which I liked all of them. So, and then oh, and then. The functionality of throwing projectiles through teammates. I think those two, in my opinion, were probably some of the biggest changes that I'm a fan of. So, you know what? I hope to catch you guys out in the finals. Let me know in the comments if there's any changes that you guys are looking forward to. So, you guys have a good on one. Of our sponsors, thanks for tuning in.